We're just about a day away until the Civil War game kicks off, but it looks like the two rivals have already faced off in one match that rivals them all. KCI 9 News Sports Report, or rather, news reporter Jeff Skrypek is live in Corvallis to continue our Civil War coverage. Jeff? Rick, Oregon and Oregon State's football teams might be brutal rivals, but the school's marching bands are too. And each year, the two come together and have a Civil War game of their own. From the looks of it, you might think the Civil War game was Tuesday night. And you would be sort of right in thinking that. Just as the big game will go down Thursday, these brutal rival bands were duking it out, not with their instruments, but with the football. We've had to tone it down a little bit. Uh, last year, there, there were a couple things early in the game that we, we had to tone down. We always think we're better than them. They always think they're better than us, you know. It's a rivalry. It's our rival school. And over the last few years, unlike the real deal, the marching band civil war has been a little lopsided. The past few years, they've, they've run away with it a bit. Uh, we tend to think they take it a little more seriously than we do. We practice, so if that's us being intense, uh, you know, we, we like to have a lot of fun. These rival bands might come out and play football for fun, but there might be more at stake than just bragging rights. We always like to think it, uh, uh, you know, makes a hint at to what the actual winner of the Civil War is. It might hint at the winner of the actual Civil War game, but for these band members, the real matchup for both the football teams and the bands will come this Thursday. We don't use this to decide who's the better band. We'll do that at our Battle of the Bands on, uh, on Thursday down there. Good news for Oregon State fans. The Beaver Marching Band came away with their first win, topping the Ducks 45-6. to We'll see if that's a preview of what's to expect tomorrow night for the real deal. Live in Corvallis, Jeff Skrypek, KEZI 9 News.